This episode we're going to talk about a smelly client and how to deal with the awkwardness and how to talk about it. Um, so yeah, we're going to share our experience. So let's get to it. Hello everybody, it's Chris here. And Sinead. So, um, yeah, one of the, 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 uh, <laughs> I'm just going to wrap here. Uh, one of the things uh, as a part of our, uh, our job is to work with, with different bodies, uh, different people, different um, ways they look after themselves. And, you know, some clients, uh, you know, they they are okay with with things like they you know have a nice shower mm. before they come to the session or you know some of them they're just rushing after work after training so that's not always no as the deal the way um so uh, yeah we just want to talk about you know how how we deal with this what our experience is and just have a rant about it social night yes uh, <clears throat> yeah i was gonna say i've been pretty lucky I think really that I haven't had anyone that's been too too smelly or too bad but um yeah you a lot of people like you say will have showers and things before they come to see me you know they turn up with wet hair literally walked straight out of the shower or down the stairs when I've gone mobile but um yeah there's others that understandably we've all got really busy lives and they're fitting massage in in between rushing from one place to the next, you know, because they've got things that are going on. So you do on occasion get ones that aren't the most pleasant to massage, <laughs> should I say. <laughs> Try to be as polite as possible. Don't be. Yeah, Don't okay. be. Just, you know, people get... Say to, it as it is. <laughs> people, just be real, you know, about it. Just people get really sweaty and really yeah. smelly sometimes. They, you know, not ev everyone is... Um, looking after their hygiene, mm. how, you know, well, how they should, how, you know, not how they should, but not everyone looking um, after their hygiene, yeah. um, you know, just, you know, I don't know, w having bath or just having, yeah. you know, use deodorant or kind of, even, even, have, even have a realization that that's what's happening. Mm. Some people just, just, just don't, don't realize. And we know, you know, body works in different ways. Some of the people just are, you know, smelly than the others. Uh, <laughs> so, some, of the, some of the people are sweat more than the others. Yeah. It's not just a case that, you know, is, you know, they, not look af they don't look after themselves. It's just that's how the body reacts. Yeah, it's true. It's, I mean, I've had some clients who have... Um, been training for something in particular and they're coming to see me as part of their training um and sometimes they say you know I can come at this time at six o'clock but I'm gonna have to come straight from the gym is that gonna be okay and I know there's no showers at the gym they attend but it's fine because they turn up and what well, it <sighs> just to put it bluntly when it's fresh sweat it doesn't really smell and so mm. it's it's fine you know they're hot but they tend to towel themselves off a bit and it, it's it's not an issue, it's fine. But also you know, you know, and you understand that it is part of their training and they're trying to fit the massage in after their training, you know, to try and, you know, we work on stretches and things like that. So it's it works at a good time. So I don't really mind that so much, but sometimes when people come from work... After a long day. After a long day, yeah. And it could be just sat in an office, which you'd imagine would be okay, but oh gosh... <laughs> and it's difficult isn't it because you don't want to say well would you mind going home for a shower first um and also the last thing I want to do is say you know would you like a shower here before a massage because that gives the wrong impression <laughs> you know it's um it's difficult I know one therapist that I've seen before she explains every time she gives she tends to do a full body massage and she explains to everyone as they come in that she will um, wipe their feet and she has wet wipes and just because she's got this fear of smelly feet you know she's just really worried that someone's going to come in so she does it to all her clients which I think is quite nice because then nobody feels you know they've got on the table and it's like 
just oh, the one. My feet must be really smelly that they've mm -hmm. they've done that. But um, well, the same. What what I exactly same what I do every time. No, not every time, but when I work with the feet, mm. I always tend to have a well. When the clients have you know dirty feet or something, I'm just gonna wipe them and you yeah. But then when I work with the feet, I always wipe my hand. I use the tissue wipe my hands because usually yeah. you just go to the other part of the body. Yeah. But usually you know <laughs> I hate that when someone just work on my feet and just then go straight to my face. Yeah, <laughs> cheesy face. And uh, yucky. <laughs> And uh, so you know, it's definitely you know, yeah. So couple of couple of things which you can do. Yeah, I think wet wipes are brilliant because they're nice and handy and quick to use, aren't they? So yeah, definitely. Yeah, wet wipes you can use. Yeah, you can just have them in in your drawer yeah, for whatever any, carry. any any reasons. But um, um, yeah, to you know. When they they need to usually usually when you have like a spa places or things they usually uh, a massage therapist who do more like a spa experience they do wash your wash your feet yeah before they um, before they do any work because I had I had one one really nice session when they yeah they just wash my feet mm. uh, and that was part of the massage you know part from the experience really to. Uh, yeah, and that was really amazing feet massage. Yeah, I'd say cleaning the feet does make you feel really relaxed and and nice. You know, just having a pedicure or you know just work on your feet. It's lovely. It's nice. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to you know you don't want to, don't want to say anything to the client. You don't want because you just want you know just being polite. Well, exactly because I know we done we spoke in college about. You know, a lot of people can't see their own backs. So if there's something there, I mean, I think mostly we're kind of looking out for skin cancers sort of signs that we can tell our client, you know, there's this piece of skin on your back that, you know, um, you know, you might not be aware of or, you know, to help yeah. them out in that way, which is lovely. But at the same time, should you tell them that they're, I don't know. It's awkward, isn't it? I don't want to be that person to say, you smell. <laughs> well, no, yeah, of course you can't say it this way, but, you know, can you can just definitely, like, one of the things you can suggest that, you know, well, before every session, and when you know people are just coming from the work yeah. or after work or something, just kind of say it as a part of preparation for, for the session or have this in, like, kind of when you send the reminders to them, have a, like something that you know if if you if you can just you know have a have a shower before this before the session um yeah i suppose if you word it in a way that it helps the oils your body. soak into soak your body in, yeah if you have a show if it's possible to have a shower first it adds to the massage maybe yeah. that might be to make it sound like it's for their benefit rather than yours um, but it, yeah. you know it, the things when the session happens usually you can put the essential oils yeah uh, you can put the essential oils in a session uh, what you can do you can um, you if can you have any essential oils here you can put the essential oils on your collar on your on your t-shirt ah, or even idea. on your nose just around the top lip or something just so yeah. you can smell it um, yeah because I was going to say if the clients up for it you could always burn incense or something but yeah I like your idea of the oils actually on your face yeah because so it's I, not as obvious and it's not going to bother them I had a client confession I had a client <laughs> who farted a lot <laughs> and it's fine you know I don't mind I've we, it's relaxation we, we fart yeah. as a massage therapist, therapist when there is session <laughs> and that's a breakthrough that's a breakthrough your massage career when you actually you know, you farting <laughs> <laughs> when the massage session. We just have to sometimes. It's all right. But uh, I had a client which uh, farted a lot and it was just really, really smelly. So I, exactly what I did, I, I had la lavender. I had lavender, no, I had tea tree and lavender in a separate bottle. But what I did, I kind of put it on my finger. I just kind of dabbed it around my nose. Yeah. Oh my God. Perfect. I didn't complain, he was fine. Yeah. So I could, you know, you can do something like that. 
Yeah, that's a difficult one, isn't it? Because it is part of relaxing and it's going to happen. And that's okay. That's, you know, you want them to feel that they can. Mm. But it's awkward as well. Do you want someone to tell you that they're about to? Sometimes it's handy so you can move your face out of the way. Yeah. (laughs) But at the same time, you want them to just relax. You don't want to draw attention to... You know, I've just I realise you've just farted. Because that makes people feel <laughs> awkward, doesn't yeah. it? And you don't want it to be an issue. And uh, you want them to relax, don't you? That's the thing. And if if you know you can actually put, you know, like a wet wipes and a t- towel just before they change mm. in the t- changing era or the chair when they're changing, you put like a table when there is wet wipes and like a t- little towels. So kind of not indicate, don't just make a, like a little notice board and an arrow point, <laughs> wash your please feet use, here, please. please use this when you smell. <laughs> uh, but just kind of leave it there and just, you know, clients are not stupid. Well, well, well. Gonna- <laughs> clients are not stupid, you know. Yeah, and they, then, they may and, be uh, unaware rather than being stupid. Yeah, and some of, some of them, they realize that and they're really embarrassed about this thing. Yeah. So they just rush, they sweaty and everything. And we always just, that's fine. So by the leaving, like, a, you know, little towels or little wet wipes uh, around where they change, I think mm-hmm. then can help them as well. You know, you don't have to say anything, but, you know, if... Or you can get this as a part of your every every session. Just kind of, oh, th- there's some towels and, you know, tissue if you want to use it. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it is an awkward one, isn't it? Because, like I said, the last thing you want to do is make your client feel uneasy or, you know, they come to be relaxed and to unwind. And it's you don't want them to have to worry about smelly. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, I'm I'm fine. I got used to it working. Uh, you know, um, uh, I work with the patients previously, oh. and you know, different different jobs I did, and uh, di- different people, different things. So I, uh, you know, those things, they they're not horrible for me. I'm fine with them. They're yeah. not pleasant, but you know, I really don't mind. Like if that's happened on the session, well, that's you know is from my opinion is you just have to deal yourself with it in the situation and that's what's make you as a therapist more better unique that you can adapt and improvise in the moment in the moment session what you know what, what's happening here um so kind of you know if something just deal with it have a little towel just wipe things around even just yeah, exactly when they're coming sweaty just let you know lie them down just use your towel to wipe it yeah and just act as nothing happens so don't don't make it you know massive comment i'm gonna now wipe this massive sweat off your back <laughs> uh just you know take a towel and just just wipe it and you you do this as a part of the ritual s- thing you do you yeah. know so if if you notice there is someone like that use this like take, take a towel just wipe it and just move it around like you not the wiping the sweat or something. You just like you just like starting the massage or doing something mm-hmm. in there, and and you do this every session with that client, so they notice that you know this is not something you know because yeah. they're sweaty. They just something. What you do? Yeah, I mean, like the way you started the massage even today with through the drapes. I hope that wasn't a hint. <laughs> no, but, um, I, that's <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. So it is something you do anyway. So yeah, you can incorporate that into. I suppose you could do it on everyone, couldn't you? So it it's not different, just using a towel to instead of the drape. Yeah. To just um yeah, clean them off a little bit. But yeah, it is an it is an awkward conversation, so I like your idea though of you know, putting it on the text reminder or just for every client then it's just Yeah, you just like you know, like you have I have a text reminder or confirmation of the session, I, this is the session date and hour, this this is what's happening, please prepare this if you want, if you need to cancel, please let me know, there's an email and phone number to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, before the session, make sure you drink lots of water, if you can just take a, you know, just take a shower or, you know, I don't know how, I'm always bad at um, <laughs> wording this, but yeah. something like that, you know, you, you catch the drift. Um, like you know, saying something like you, you know, just take a shower, so you're nice and ready 
for the session so the oil the oils can soak into your skin and the benefit yeah. will be like triple something like that i don't know <laughs> yeah you could say something yeah so it works with the uh the skin to become more supple and get the moisture more benefits yeah. yes yes yeah, that's the one that's it make it out to be their benefit rather than ours uh, yeah so guys yeah let us know in the comments uh, what's your ways how to deal with the session with that kind of clients that kind of um, mm -hmm. issues uh, what's your what's your ideas what's your ways and how do how do you deal and you tell us you know share with us your examples um, with the clients you know how uh, you know what's happened and how how did you how did you experience this and what do you think about this and how do you deal with this? I just said this a lot of time. Anyway, <laughs> guys, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this. It's a difficult one though, isn't it? So if, if anybody has got any tips they can share, then it's, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, leave, yeah. leave the tips in the comments. Mm. Uh, as always, please like and share this video. Subscribe to our ch channel because there will be lots of lots of amazing new videos coming to you. And there's a little bell around there, so just press it so you get notification that the new video is out. Yeah. So guys, we're gonna see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. Booyaka, booyaka.